So Alcatel has done a really good job with the Idol series over the last couple of years. And the Idol 3 was one of the great devices they actually created last year. I think a lot of people actually just love that device. So here we have the Idol 4S, the successor to the Idol 3. Now on looks alone, they've done a fantastic job. You're looking at this device because it's got a nice glass back and a solid build all the way through, which is great. And considering the price point they put in this device at, now it retails for $399, uh, but if you pre-order it now, you can get it for $350. And with that $350, it comes with not just the device itself, but also with a case, a protective case. You do have a, uh, a glass nano screen uh, screen protector, so not the thin ones, but that nice solid screen protector on the device, and also a VR headset. They're pushing a lot of VR content, and we'll talk a little bit about that uh, because it's actually interesting to see what they actually did there with with the Alcatel Idol 4S. Now, as we take a closer look at the hardware itself, uh, this at the back right there, you see the fingerprint sensor right below the camera. That's a 60 megapixel shooter, LED flash, records a 4K. Um, it, um, it doesn't have OIS, it has EIS, but it's got autofocus. You've got a dedicated button on the right. That is not the camera button, it's a dedicated mappable button. A 2K display in front. Uh, yes, a 2K display. You've now got an eight megapixel camera with LED flash uh, in there. And the design is a slightly curved edge screen on each side. It's kind of the glass curves a little bit, which is nice. Now you've got um, what they call 360 surround speakers. What that means is you've got front frying speakers on the top and the bottom of the device, but you also have that in the reverse. And those speakers actually, in terms of um, overall uh, uh, wattage, you've got a 3.6 uh, uh, watt speakers. So basically what that means is if you drop your speaker, your, your phone uh, on the face forward or back forward doesn't matter the audio sounds good now it's powered by a snapdragon 652 processor 3 gigs of ram and 32 gigabytes of internal storage expandable by micro sd you're wondering snapdragon 652 how good is that processor well you see its performance as we go through but so far in terms of build I like what they've done with this device. Now the fingerprint sensor is super fast uh, as you basically put your fingers on it, it unlocks your device and you're good to go. Now it, this is running Android um, 6.01 with its own custom overlay. I've noticed no slowdowns, it's been running pretty smooth. It does come with some preloaded software, the VR software um, and stuff uh, to basically enhance that VR experience they're trying to push there with the device, which is nice. So I like the fact that they've actually gone that route uh, with the uh, idol uh, uh, 4s now that dedicated button can be mapped so I mapped it to Twitter if I really wanted to jump into Twitter I could do that you can map other things like the double tap to take multiple photos things like that so you can actually do certain things to make that button quite useful which is good because you know having a dedicated button not just a camera button you can use it for many different things and make it quite useful all the way through your settings menu it has that very basic android 6.01 layout it shows your storage and usb like i said 32 gigabytes of internal storage uh the battery here is is really really solid here you've got some really good performance all day battery life i have to say so i was quite impressed with that um all the way through and i think a lot of people People will be uh, in general now in terms of um, you know software as I mentioned some VR content in there which you know I think a lot of people will find interesting but before we even get to VR uh, content I want you guys to take a look at some gaming off this device and see how well gaming actually performs with that Snapdragon 652 processor and also the kind of audio those speakers actually give you
So we mentioned VR content and pretty much slapping the uh, Idol Force into its VR cradle is pretty easy. It's a nice, simple VR headset. And there's a couple of uh, applications uh, in there that you can actually use. And I'm doing that, you know, uh, uh, Galaxy applications. I'm looking at the sun right now. It's awesome. It really was a nice, simple experience. And having a 2K display makes sure that your VR viewing is actually uh, a sharper and clearer experience all around. So. Um, uh, don't mind me here as I kind of look around in odd places left and right all together just to get my, my bearings and sense. But really, it's 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 fun. You know, they, they are tapping into that. And I like the fact that they at least trying to give you more offerings in one go. Now, let's move to the camera. We've seen the camera app before, but we wanted to look at the camera quality in terms of video as well as photos uh, as we handle this review. Okay guys, I'm recording with the Alcatel Idol 4S. I'm out here in the city. Uh, I'm recording 4K. And what I'm going to do is just do some transitional effects. So you see it goes from lighter to darker areas. And then I'll also walk down a little bit. Give you guys a good idea. Now, the Idol 4S uh, has a pretty decent camera. And uh, you see how it actually handles. Because I'm just walking holding the camera uh, and um, there's actually no OIS in this device but or I could be wrong I'm not even sure anymore. but you're going to get also how the microphone picks up sound you know all that fun stuff as you uh, do this and then we will take some photos and uh, we'll take a look at those and uh, we'll round up this review the lack of OIS really shows with that camera and that's quite a bummer because it actually looked like it was taking some really good uh, video in 4K. So that's something that they really need to actually work on. Uh, although the voice quality for the mic is actually pretty good. Now this image is, uh, is around 7 p.m. in New York City and you can see how it captures the contrast with sunlight, uh, the very left building and some of the, you know, the darker shadows on the right. Also this park right here, very nice, vibrant, uh, it's not oversaturated. I like the color balance that they've done and I think the camera does very well in capturing um, you know well lit and also just uh, it's got a really good color balance I think the color representation of the camera does well as you see with the green the white you know the kind of uh, yellow leaves at the back and then this is a shot here of course with HDR on um, at a sunset this is around 8 p.m. I believe or 8 actually 8 15 p.m. in New York you can see uh, the skyline now in in a setting where you have a low light but you do have a lot of light different low or lighting sources it does a good job you can see the individuals in the in the picture here you can see the light bounce off um, I think it does a good job here not as crisp as I would like but I'm okay with the performance of the camera at this point here now as we move over to um, low light photography this is really low light photography you can see really grainy uh, even though uh, it was actually pretty dark it does a good job showing the image but it's not clear and it's not sharp at all the front facing camera is in 8 megapixel camera and you can see it does a good job with with good lighting uh, situation so the, the be better the lighting uh, the better it works for you um, and I think uh, the flash uh, yes will, will work decently well uh, but I think the front facing camera does best in of course daylight or uh, at least uh, adequate lighting for the situation so with the camera um, I, I am it's it's okay uh, because the camera does a good job in actually taking photos in general and in daylight uh, but I want to see some improvements there because I really wasn't too impressed with the camera that being said though the idol 4s really brings an interesting uh, scenario in terms of performance this thing handles like anything that uh, Snapdragon 652 processor uh, handles just as well yes as your 800 series processor so i was able to game i was able to handle all those things without any slowdowns whatsoever it's got awesome speakers i mean the audio of gaming was really crisp and clear so that's something that you have to take note now the, the question is is it worth that 400 price tag i say yes I say yes because they've also added a lot of extras to make this worth 
while uh, with the case, the screen protector, things that actually when you buy it will actually just rack up in price, uh, as well as also the VR headset. So it makes a lot of sense here and I like what they've done. Overall, I was quite impressed, quite impressed with the Idol 4S. Uh, we'll have to see how it stands up with all the devices as we do our battle videos and things like that. But I have to say though, the performance uh, of the device itself, the performance in audio, the fact you also get JBL headphones uh, packaged with it, which is also pretty nice. I think this is something that consumers will find quite interesting. So if you have any questions, any comments about the Idol 4S, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Use the link down below if you want to pre-order yours and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.